late Mrs. Anna Onyelu was born on the 25th April 1951 into the family of Mr. and Mrs. Edward Umuhele of Umojita family in Arabaurugu in Bugeli North local government area and Umudike Epuruku family of Umubuamai in Okwani local government area of Delta State. The both of them are Delta State. Mama attended primary school during her school age but due to some circumstances she couldn't proceed to secondary school and colleges as well. Mama was married to late Mr. Isaac Ojelu Niswe of Umweba family in Umukuchi extended family in Umwekumama in Kingdom. Their marriage was blessed with seven children, 26 grandchildren and four great-grandchildren. Mama was a hard-working woman who knows what to do per time. Mama was a successful businesswoman while in Benin City, Edo State, where she trained in pick-up loads of Gary to her customers in Ugbogui, in Edo State and Enveru. Until her last day on earth, Mama was a dedicated member of Christ Apostolic Church, where she served God to the fullness. I was also a head usher. Whenever there is a church program at the headquarter at Ikeji, Arakeji in Oshun State, Mama is always the first delegate to be assigned to the to represent the church. Mama was also the church representative at Good Women Fellowship in CAC and also a delegate to represent the church whenever the Faithful Women Shokuntokwa Women Intercessors Program in Kuala Hood, Delta State. Mama has always been there for her families, both partner and matana. Whenever there, whenever there is an event at any of the families, she makes sure she will be present. Mama prays for her children at all times. During her 70th birthday, Mama was so happy with her children and prayed to God to bless all the works of their hand. Mama's last moment. On her return from her second daughter's house in Asaba on the 2nd of December 2022, at her in Saba of two weeks, Mama fell sick and couldn't make it and she joined a crater on the 22nd of December 2022. Mama will be fondly remembered by her children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, brothers, sisters, niece, nephew, cousins, in-laws, son-in-laws, daughter-in-laws, amongst other relatives and friends, and her Christian brethren. We love you, sweet mother, but Jesus loves you most. May your soul rest in the bosom of the Lord till we meet to part no more. Adieu, Mama. Goodbye. Hallelujah. So shall he live again all the days of my appointed time? Will I wait till my change comes? And a topic is taken from this interrogatory uh, topic. If a man dies, shall he live again? If a woman dies, shall he live again? If a boy dies, shall he live again? If a girl dies, shall she live again? If a child dies, shall he live again? Let us pray as God himself will give us an answer. Father, I pray you come down. Oh, yes. Speak, O oh God, through your servant. Yes, Father. But at the end, your name, O oh God, alone will be glorified. Amen. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The answer is yes Ishoku. and no. Uwashi. Yes. Ishoku. And no. Uwashi. If a man dies. Marujine, if human being dies. Obushi, 
mosone. As mama is lying down right now. Will she live again? The answer is yes. And the answer is still no. Let me begin with no. No, because physically so many people that have died our forefathers our foremothers who had gone to the land beyond nobody has seen them again you they can't come to you anymore and there is no way you can reach them physically they are gone and they are gone that is why whenever anybody dies you see that the pain will not be much until the casket or the, the, the corpse is brought for burial and that is why you see that at the time the corpse is being lifted to the burial grave or the burial site many people cry and roll because she or she or he is gone forever praise the living Jesus so number one if a man dies if a woman dies if a woman dies you are the only child there is none Of our little mommy will be carried to the graveside. We shall take this him, him, 953, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound. Choir over to you. Please let's take our closing prayer for the funeral service. Thereafter, the hymn shall be sung as the corpse will be taken to the graveside. God bless you. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, God, for the success, O oh Father, of this very funeral service. May your name be glorified, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Father, that as we go to the graveside, Baba, you will go with your children, even those that will still stay behind. Lord, guide everyone as we cover our life with the blood of Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, Amen. sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Please, as we take uh, this hymn, the very age great that will be in charge of lifting her to the graveside should do so. 
or if there are undertakers, I don't know. God bless you. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. I know that my redeemer lives and that he shall start and in the that day upon the earth and go after my skin not destroy this body. Yet in my flesh I shall see God. Whom I shall see for myself and my eye shall behold and not to behold not another. For we brought nothing into this world and it is certain we shall have nothing out. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken it away. Oh Lord, we have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains we have brought forth, whoever you have formed the earth and the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man to destruction and say, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight, and like yesterday when it is past, and like a watch in the night, you carry them away like a flood. They are like a sleep in the morning. They are like grass which grows up. In the morning, it flourishes and grows up. In the evening, it is cold and withered. For we have been consumed by your anger, and by your wrath, we are terrified. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your continent. For all our days have passed away in your wrath. We finish our years like a sigh. The days of our lives are 70 years. And if our reason of strength, they are 80 years, yet their bones is only labor and sorrow. But it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? For as the fear of you, so is your God. So teach us to cover our day that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Return, O oh Lord, how long and have compassion on your servant. Oh, satisfy us early with your mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our day. Make us glad according to the days in which you have afflicted us, the years in which we have seen evil. Let your work appear to your servants and your glory to their children. Seventeen and the last, and let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the works, establish the works of our hands for us. Yes, establish the works of our hands. In the beginning, peace now, ever shall it be one without sin. Amen. May the power of God rest upon this place. Amen. I cover this grave with the blood of Jesus. Every power of God that may try to operate in this place, your fire power will consume in the name of Jesus. Christ. Thank you, Father, that as the remain of your daughter will be laid on God to rest. Power God will show, O oh God, that man is rest in all our Thank you, Jehovah. Jesus, name we pray. They flee like a shadow and continue not. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek for support? Let us be, O Lord, 
who for our sins are justly displeased. Yet, O Lord, God most holy, O Lord most mighty, O holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. Thou knowest, Lord, the secrets of our heart. Shop not thy merciful Savior, thou most worthy judge eternal. Suffer us not at our last hour because of any pains of death to fall from thee. Amen. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God and His wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased mother, Mrs. Anna, Anna Onyelu Niswe, will therefore commit her body to the ground. Heaven, say you not to me, say you not to me, right, from henceforth, blessed are the dead who died in the Lord, even so, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labor, for their deeds we follow them. Excellent God, we thank you. We cover this place once again with the blood of Jesus. We pray once again for the children. Take care of them and be the grace of our Lord Why are you big now? You get I'm gonna 
If you make it, Ben, you need your mother. Come back, fight it up first. Okay. You can cry and what if you make it. Ben, you make it. When you bring them back, you go to me. When you lose me, I didn't have to suck it. Where's you going in your corner? Go in your cap, go in your corner. Amen. Oh, my God. 